guys, I'm here with a new video. At last, um, I've mainly been working on writing um, on my blog and my own music. I put out some kind of underground releases. The Arboretum full length called uh, Spore Genus Unknown, which is on here. It's on Bandcamp, iTunes, Spotify, and also a Doom Metal release for Grave and Crypta. I'll actually just grab the CDs, um, which is called Malum. <laughs> And so a Death and a Doom release, both of which my girlfriend did the art for, work for, which is really cool. Like, there's the Arboretum one, we got these candles and the mushrooms growing through the skull and holding it up. So really happy with that. That's nine tracks, both are on my label, AHPM Records, and Grave and Crypt Tower. The logo I drew, she did the art for, though, which is also um, that. So yeah, fucking stumbling over my words. So Death Metal, Doom Metal. When you order them, they generally come in a plastic sleeve. The jewel case is just what I've put them in because I prefer it. But um, it saves on postage a hell of a lot. And um, there's no... Because they're homemade, there's no need for a jewel case. It's more eco-friendly as well, which is something I care about. Anyway, to get on with the list, I'm talking about 10 bands you have not heard but should have. If you have heard them, then kudos to you. If not, then that's also cool. That's the whole point of these videos. So first on the list, I don't have stuff for every band as well, because as you might recognize, I'm not at my home. But first up, we have DGL. I have their first album on cassette, their new one on CD, but they're at home, or well, newest. So this is their middle one, Savage Mutiny, which I have here on vinyl, thankfully. I've only got three things to show other than my CDs, but I have something from all these bands. Um, yeah, DGL play really old school Swedish death metal. I saw them supporting Watain. They're really fucking good, like... If you, if you like Swedish death metal, check it out. Um, next up we have Two Molds. I don't have anything here, but if you saw on my Instagram, all this stuff you can see on my Instagram at natsgog underscore jsk. The new Two Mold album is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure if you've heard it, but a lot of people have been talking about it. I bought the orange cassette version, which I think is the only tape of it. It's really good. Dark, old school death metal. And then on a similar note, also from 20 Bucks Spin, who have been putting out tons of great releases, is the new Torture Rack CD, Malefic Humiliation. It's, um, they're Canadian or American, I believe. I'm not too sure off the top of my head. But it's kind of really dark, brutal, old school death metal once again. Um, oh, actually, I do have something of this band. I have, it's Fager. They're French, kind of ambient, depressive black metal. I have their second album on CD at home, but here I have the cassette of their first album, number nine, limited to 200, on Ogmios, I believe it said, Underground Records. So yeah, there's some really dark, bleak French black metal. Very depressive. Um, next on the list, Eldemar, who I've spoke about before. My friend from Norway's band, um, it's one guy, really ambient black metal, amazing soundscapes, really kind of dreamy, lustra, summoning, that kind of stuff, if you like that. Next up, a similar kind of band, if you like Caledon Brood from the States, Valiant. I have this one signed, also signed the CD, very nicely sent me it after I reviewed their latest album, which is also really good, but this one's Amoribund Destiny on Transcending Records, really stunning stuff once again. Next on the list is Crow, spelt K-R-O-H. They're a British kind of stoner doom, really fuzzy. It's featuring, um, I think it's the guitarist or bassist from Fuck Pig, F-U-K-P-I-G. I think that's who. I know he's in another uh, band, it's like UK Grind. I'm pretty sure that's it, but if I've got that wrong, hit me up in the comments below. And I think it's the guitarist, but don't quote me on it. Um with a, a female singer who has a really great kind of dark bluesy vocal range which sound really cool. Um, then on the topic of female fronted doom, also Black Moth. I have the latest Crow album, I believe it's the latest Alters on CD. And I have the latest Black Moth album, it's really good. Much more uh, laid back than Crow, like uh, more kind of a crunch than that really heavy stuff. but. Nice, easy listening stuff. Um, really talented lady on vocals once again. Um, she has a more kind of feminine voice, but not in sort of the overproduced way that a lot do, but more. This is no means a diss on female singers. I think they can be great. I think it's shitty when they use that as a marketing tool, but um, 
with bands like the ones I've mentioned and Cerebral Bore for that matter, when they're just fucking talented people regardless of gender, um, I'm all for it. It's, like I said, I think it's a shitty marketing tool, but that's just me. Black Moth are really nice kind of stonery doom once again. Been listening to a lot of doom. Um, second to last, Witch Sorrow, a band I got to see live at Doom Over London in 2015. I've got their new album Hex and Hammer on vinyl. Probably my favourite release of the year so far, in all honesty. Like that or the new What I Ain. Um, or the new Tomb Mold. The new Witch Sorrow album is by far their best. I've also got another one on CD, but I can't think what it is. But check out Hex and Hammer. It's absolutely amazing. And finally, Uncoffined. I have both their albums on CD, but sadly they are at home, which is not where I am. This is the artwork for their second album, Ceremonies of Morbidity. Really good British death doom. Like It's more on the doom side with kind of like 10 minute songs, really sludgy atmosphere, but like... Really great growled vocals. Um, they're just, they're awesome. If you like cross punk as well, the lady on drums, Kat, is also, I believe she's the drummer in uh, Winds of Genocide. I assume she's the drummer in Uncoffin, but she's a really talented drummer. Sounds fucking awesome behind the kit. They've got some great riffs. In fact, the I did a kind of, a slightly altered cover of the ending riff from the fifth and final track off this album on my Instagram. It's one of the ones where I'm using my white Ibanez because it's in drop B. So check out Uncoffined. They're probably my favourite band on this list at this point in time. But I also am a big fan of Eldemar and Witch Sorrow and DGL. Well, oh, I'm a big fan of all of them, but check out Uncoffined and all of the bands I've mentioned. If you've discovered something new, leave a like or whatever people do, just because helps me out, I believe, with the recommended kind of things. Um, spoken a bit more in this video than usual, just because I haven't spoken for a while to you guys like this, just been writing, so I thought I'd make the effort. Uh, my next video, I'm just waiting on Tomb of the Mutilated, then I'll have all of Cannibal Corpse's records, so I can um, do a ranking of that. I can't promise when it will be, but stay up to date on my Instagram for clues, um, natsgog underscore jsk, and also natsgog.wordpress.com if you want to read my um, written reviews. They're the words I'm looking for. Um, and I'd really appreciate You can check them out right here on YouTube. Graven Crypt Tower is only on Bandcamp and YouTube and CD, but um, the Arboretum ones on iTunes and all that. But check out these two albums that I did and um, Sickly Gangland Hagal if you haven't heard that one yet. Really appreciate all the support I've got and everything. The other day alone, I'm just counting Bandcamp, I had over 150 downloads of my music. Um, absolutely amazing. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to check out some underground music rather than just what being stuck in the grind of listening to the same stuff. That's why I made this video, because bands like Uncoffined and um, the others, so I keep looking at my own thing for ideas, uh, they make... Uncoffined could easily be the next Hooded Menace, but the problem is people get stuck in the grind. They're like, Hooded Menace are amazing, which they are. Their new album is definitely one of the best albums that have come out this year. But then that's just all they listen to. So rather than doing that, check out new stuff. I, every day I go on Encyclopedia Metal and look at what's coming out today. Check stuff out, review it, always finding stuff. So um. Yeah, cheers to everyone who supported the new stuff. Had some really awesome stuff said about it. I'm sure I'll get a fair share of shit with time. I mean, there's not really been anything bad yet, touch wood. But there you have it. I don't, you know, as far as I care, um, music makes an emotional response. If, if you hate it, you'll keep still putting out energy in its direction, which can be fed into the kind of engine of creativity be it positive or negative um but yeah i really appreciate all of you checking out my stuff i really check would appreciate you checking out these talented bands and if you want to send me your own my emails open um as my social media pages i do my best to respond to everyone who i hear from so hit me up who knows you could be in one of these videos or on my review blog and i did send a lot in the unboxing i did Physical releases will take priority on the merit that those bands have gone out of their way doing something that will lose them money Rather than just sending me a Dropbox link, but I will try and do everything and with that said. Thanks for watching stay metal